Don't forget to check out my Patreon link in the description down below where we do exclusive content for videos that get blocked on YouTube like Level Up Project 1, 2, and 3, Twice Sees the Light, Black Pink House, 80s Treasure Film, Black Pink's documentary. Tons of blocked performances are on there as well and certain tours such as Red Mare, Red Room, Twice Lights, Twice Land, the Black Pink The Show online concert, Shiny World 4, and tons of Knowing Bro episodes and so much more. Link in description down below. Hey guys, Angie here and today we have SF9's teardrop music video. Late to this because promotion is trash for SF9. Like I'm not like I'm used to small companies now, but dang, um, I don't know if the company's small, but I I feel like they need more promotion. I don't think Kingdom was enough. Then again, Kingdom was kind of trash. Per you know, reactions are on Patreon though, but yeah, kind of trash. I don't know if let me know how this comeback's doing though. Like, is this good for them? I think they deserve more views than this. But I, I, the only reason I knew they had to come back was because I, I react to them and you guys let me knew, know and then I do follow them so I, I knew. I forgot the day though and there was no like, no, not much buzz. I, any more buzz. Like, I don't know if the song's good and I will react to the mini album tomorrow. But I don't, oh, by the way, um, I, I just reacted to them, their, their show for fantasy. Um, where they're like in an office and stuff and they're like doing logos and uh, poor Huyang, Huyang getting bullied on there but um that's gonna be out so I'm doing the music video it'll be out tomorrow morning well tomorrow afternoon and then the next day is gonna be the album and then the next day is gonna be the episode because I want to do the album everything first or post it first but I did watch that I just didn't I forgot that there was a comeback because you know not much not much news um and I only knew because it was recommended on the side when I was watching the episode. And I was like, wait, oh yeah, they are having a comeback. I thought it was like the 8th or something, but I don't know why. Um, regardless, I don't know how good the song is. But I, regardless, I think they deserve better because they're really talented and have good discography anyways. But let's hop into the video. I don't know. Okay, so Good Guy did really good. And I feel like it's going to be another Good Guy. Like, I feel like they're going to... I don't know. Uh, let me just preface though, if I don't like the song whatever <laughs> like i don't care uh still watch sf9 because i like some of the other songs like their specifically their title tracks are a mix for me so if i don't like the title track that's okay because we're gonna do the album and if i don't like the album that's okay because i liked other albums like i always now have to preface this because i didn't like an album from a group i adore and suddenly it's like ooh, you don't like the album what is it but like okay i like their other albums doesn't matter so there's the preface. Also, they have great music videos, so I'm here for that too. Faces, I got a little bit better with when I watched the show, so hopefully it'll help. Already great music videos. Oh my god, they're gorgeous. Yeah. Oh wait, wait, wait. Captions. My boy over here, oh, he looks so good. Right. Vocals. Oh my god. Oh my god. I can't. Chenny. We're in color now. Names I don't have. Faces I don't have down too much are Dawan, Insung, and why I always forget his name, Jaehyun. Those three are probably mixed up and they're all, them three are vocalists so that sucks because that's not even going to help me. But those three, I, I'm not going to, I'm not too good with. What's on your face? Are they diamonds? Oh my god. This video, oh, I freaking knew. Oh. Is that not the sync choreo is? <laughs> not gonna lie, I know you're gonna hate me saying this. I felt like I was kinda right. <laughs> I said it was gonna probably sound like a good guy. 
I'm getting good guy vibes. And good guys, like one of my least favorite title tracks for them, sadly. Like I know it's their important one, so I respect that. A lot of my least favorite title tracks are the most successful for like every group I like. Like like mm, I wanna say DNA is BTS most famous, but like it was definitely top for them. Like it was a really important one. Don't like it too much. Um What's another group? What's another group? What's another one? I can't. Drama Rama by a Drama Rama by a Monsta X. Don't care much for it. Uh, twice is um a lot of them. <laughs> oh, like as a fancy would probably be a one. I don't love fancy that much. Like there's a lot of groups where like their most famous ones are like my least favorite. <laughs> uh, fancy's not my least favorite though, but you know. I like it more than Good Guy. I like the little. Reminds me of a uh, Ace. Oh, God. Yes! Kill it! Chinese. This reminds me of his. Um, his introduction dance thing for Kingdom, which is where I fell in love with him. Oh, that's so beautiful. Oh my God. I love the mix of black and white and color. Oh yeah, I like this. It's like good guy, but like better in my opinion. Oh, he didn't have to go that hard. I love. That's what I like. Is like, <laughs> like I like that thing. I can't do it because I'm not a singer. But you know what I'm talking about. I love the constant movement. Like they're, it's all when they're not in the dancing scenes. It's like all like this. Hey. This video is gorgeous. So their vocals. This, this is video. Yes. Rap line's going off here. Is it like going? Was it going backwards? I couldn't tell. If like I was imagining that, but it kind of looked like it went in reverse. I don't 100% get the video, but like I respect what it was going for, and I'm sure there's a big meaning behind it that will make me love it even more when someone tells me what the heck it means. Um, what would the TikTok dance be? Would it be the that thing? I don't know. I don't go on TikTok, but oh, there's a choreography video. Maybe we'll add it to the mini album. If I remember. Yes, that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. Mm. Because the dance is sexy, it will definitely do well on TikTok. And the song's catchy, so sexy and catchy. Well, I'm now or never. I don't. I don't see that. I, well, I guess that's why. 
I see it definitely more as a good guy. I definitely, I just see it, the B and the like chorus remind me more of good guy. But I get the vibe of, I, I guess I get it. I guess I get the vibe of Never Never. But okay, checking out the um, rest of the album tomorrow for you guys, which will be tomorrow for me too, but whatever. Um, I watched the show, so you're gonna get a thick amount of SF9. If you wanna subscribe or not, it doesn't matter. Just if you wanna, if you wanna see my reactions, just check it out tomorrow around the same time whenever this is posted. Um, but yeah, I liked it way more than Good Guy. I, it's not, my favorite title track by them though i actually when I, I just did a binging like a couple weeks ago on their older songs i actually liked a lot of those more even their debut song was a hit to me um so i think i just prefer their older style for title tracks and then i prefer their newer style for b-sides i don't know why whatever so i'm definitely excited for the mini album because i already like a lot of their newer songs a bit more than their older ones for the b-sides it's like it flipped for me but we still have a lot of mini albums to get through not that many but like a couple more that i haven't heard yet so who knows that could probably change but so far from what it, how it looks the first collection is still my favorite album um so but anyway that is it for this video let me know what you guys think are the views slow are they good for SF9? Because I have to always gauge like the the amount of audience per group. Because I I like so many different types of groups. Like some of them are very small, like one we or something where you don't get that many views. So it's like I look at the number and I think it's small, but for them it's good. Um, and then there's like twice or like BTS where they like have way different views. And then there's like seventeen and like. Uh, Monster X where there's like that middle ground so I always have to like gauge that so let me know how they're doing is this good is this bad is it better somehow is it worse I don't understand why that would work because they should have some new audience from Kingdom but I think a lot of people just don't know they're having a comeback so that's the issue so FNC I think it's the company get on that so I'll see you guys in the next video bye <laughs>